Well, right now the phone lines are open for our St. Jude Dream Home giveaway. You can win a home and help support St. Jude Children's Research Hospital. Our Renee Murphy is in Studio A to explain. And Renee, how are things going out there? Hey there, good afternoon, Juliana. This is an exciting day. This is our first ever St. Jude Dream Home giveaway. Are you guys excited? Our volunteers are here. They want to hear from you. They want to take your phone calls. The phone number is right there on your screen to call. This is your chance to win a dream home in the Catalpa Farm subdivision in the far east end of Louisville. This could be your chance and you can help out kids at the very same time. Help out kids who are suffering from different pediatric cancers. Ventera Massey is here now from St. Jude to tell us more about this dream house and how it works. Yes, yeah, so today is the day that our tickets are officially on sale and by purchasing your ticket before the end of tomorrow, you're entered for a chance to win a $5,000 gift card and the home which is great. This is this is a drawing of what the home will look like. It's under construction right now. Four bedroom home could be yours. Reserve your $100 ticket. And this is something that will help out St. Jude. People may think St. Jude is, is far away, but it helps families right here in Kentucky. Anna. Exactly. We have patient families here and all over the world. And St. Jude freely shares their research. So for every life saved, thousands more are saved around the world. All right, Corey Calhoun from WAMZ is here with us. You excited to be here? Oh my gosh, uh, very honored because I was able to tour St. Jude for the second time this past weekend and it's amazing what they do there and how they freely share all their information. It is such a great thing that might help your kids, your kids' kids down the road. So, and you're getting a house out of it, uh, potentially. <laughs> how could you go wrong? And maybe some groceries. Uh, we yeah, all need uh, right? $5,000 if you get it today or tomorrow, your ticket, so take advantage, really. It's a great opportunity. And you know what? Families can go there at absolutely no cost. So when they go there, all they have to worry about is just loving on their child. Their medical bills are covered because of your donations. That was really the vision of Danny Thomas, the founder of St. Jude. It was the vision of an entertainer and a great man. To offer help to all the children of the world, regardless of race, creed, or economic status. His show had his namesake, and his name would stretch far beyond the entertainment industry. The first of a million, Danny Thomas tells friends he'll raise for the St. Jude's Hospital of his dreams. In 1962, entertainer Danny Thomas helped to open St. Jude Children's Research Hospital in Memphis, Tennessee. Before he hit the height of his success, he prayed to St. Jude, the patron saint of hopeless causes, and said, help me find my way in life, and I will build you a shrine. Soon after that, he did hit it big, and he kept his promise. After years of fundraising, he opened St. Jude. Taking advice, he opened it in Memphis during a turbulent time of racial tensions. He wanted the hospital to be open to all and families to never receive a bill for treatment. Today, the hospital is leading the way in pediatric cancer research and still never sends a bill to a patient's family. Everything that's used here for him is used to take care of other kids as well. So Clint Golby is at St. Jude for the second time with his son Corbin. We never expected to have to return here as a patient. Corbin, uh, around February or March of this year, started having pain in his right arm uh, and the pain did not go away. Corbin faced bone cancer this time around. Corbin was treated here when he was, when he was three years old. He was treated for rhabdomyosarcoma and of course, uh, the fact that he was back here 10 to 12 years later to be treated again was just a testament to the staff that took care of us the first time. It's been such a, it's been such a wonderful slash bittersweet experience for us, uh, you know, having to go through the treatment, but, but knowing that we're here and, and, and not receiving those bills is, is, has been fantastic. It takes $2 million a day to run the hospital, and it's funded mostly by small donations from average citizens. It was the vision of Danny Thomas all those years ago that's saving lives to this day. A great facility. I had a chance to go and visit in Memphis. There's the phone number for you to call right now. We have one more volunteer who's not on the phone, but you know what? We want her to be on the phone, so go ahead, give her a call. Call right now to reserve your $100 ticket to possibly win your dream home. It's our first ever St. Jude Dream Home giveaway. The phone number is right there on your screen. This is your chance. We're going to have more throughout the hour here, and we will let you know how you can continue to get involved. Go ahead and give us a call.